is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the October 21st, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Zen Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. And if you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead and let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead and send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tigers Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. we got a mixed bag out here. you got the Dow down 123. The S&P is up 90 cents, so that's flat. NASDAQ 100 up 56. Russell's up 2. Semi's up 10. Tranny's up 73. You've got gold down 5 bucks. Silver's off 32 cents. Lights we crude off a buck 78. Natural gas down 11 cents. Trade out at 505. 30 year Treasury down 14 ticks. She's trading at 157.22. To the upside, dollar wise, you've got Pool Corporation up 29 bucks. Tesla's up 27. Netflix 25. Digital World up 223 percent, 22 bucks. That's a good move. Match Group, like Matchbox, is up 21 buck runes. To the downside, it's Micro Strategy. They're down 21 bucks, two and seven tenths percent. Chart Industries up 15 bucks. That's eight percent. Lamb Research down two and a half percent, 14 buck runes. Kaiser Aluminum off 13. PayPal down 12. So uh, let's go answer the first question that had come in, and we'll go take a look at the general markets. If you were listening in on the overview, the market update. Uh, I was I had mentioned that uh, natural gas out here uh, had uh, now this is the this is the uh, this is November contract that we've got up here. It's going to be rolling over to December here shortly. And so I had mentioned that uh, Light Sweet Crude had formed a new profile, brand new bullish structure daily profile. And the question was, or I said, it should be able to resume its move higher because this profile has formed above the prior profile. And Mr. Bill in Tiger's Den asked a very good question. And his question is, do we need some type of bullish reversal candle to confirm that signal? And my answer to that would be, no, not necessarily in this instance. So, Mr. Bill, where I use the bullish or bearish reversal candles is the completion of a pattern. And in this case here, the pattern would be, or a pattern that we could take a look at. In fact, it's the only pattern that I see that would be available to us would be an A to B equals CD to the downside. But price has not gotten down low enough for that to occur. So if price does close below the bottom of its profile, which is now $4.93, and certainly two consecutive closes below that, then the answer would switch to yes. Because then we would have the A to B equals CD pattern uh, that would likely be unfolding, and we would wait for that type of a confirmation. But that's not the pattern that we have in play right now. So what I'm using here, Mr. Bill, is I'm using the profiles to give us that kind of a signal. So when you have a new profile that forms, and the low is above the prior low, and the high is above the prior high, we don't really matter. It doesn't matter to us whether where the center is at. Although in this instance here, it does help us. Um, it just so, so that tells us about the trend should continue to the upside. Now, all we're really trying to do here with all these tools is to increase our probability or increase our odds of a successful trade. doesn't guarantee that, but we have this 
information that really provides you and I with a competitive edge, or at least I believe it provides a competitive edge. Now, Mr. Bill, if you were a person or anybody that's listening or watching in and uh, was looking to go long natural gas, what I would do is I would wait for a close above $5.16. Because we don't have a completed pattern, we're just using this assumption, or I'm just assumptively using the TAS market profiles because they do provide us with tons of information out here. What I typically have experienced is that when price gets above or closes above the, top, the center of a bullish structured profile, we're not there just yet, that would then signal nice move up to the top of that profile. With this profile being relatively wide, 493 to 573, it probably, it, it's worthwhile to go ahead and wait for that. Now, the only thing that would change that is if we went over to the short-term time frame charts and we saw some clear bottoming signals. So let's go do that. Let's finish this off appropriately. And we'll go to Stevie's eight panel background chart. This way we've got the monthly, weekly, the daily, the 30-minute chart. So if we take a look at a 30-minute chart out here, a couple of days ago, this is when the bottom was forming, uh, Mr. Bill. That was back on October 19th. And what we can see out here is this formed a nice TD9 count bottom back then. And on the 60-minute chart, what we see is a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. We see that on the 120-minute chart. Uh, I don't have anything on the 240, and I have wave number 7 on the uh, five-hour chart. So this is also another element that you and I would in you know, put into our overall interpretation about what the message of the market is. And here we can see natural gas is attempting to form a bottom or already has formed a bottom. And now what you'd be waiting for are key levels of resistance to fail. Um, you know, in the case of the 60 minute chart, I'd be looking at uh, five dollars and 18 cents. Uh, five dollars and 18 you're back above then in this case here you'd be back above that 516 level in that uh, new daily profile and that would be your signal that price should begin to move to the upside so hope that helps answer the question again the bullish and bearish reversal candles i use at the completion of an a to b equals cd a roads momentum indicator top or bottom and uh, and pretty much that's it out there. Not that we don't like to see them associated, perhaps with a TD9 count top or bottom, but that's not really the requirement out there. So I hope that helps you out. That was a great question. Thanks for asking it. And now, uh, and now we all know, at least uh, Stevie's thoughts on the uh, profiles and the patterns out there. So now let's go take a look at the uh, general markets, get a feel for what they're doing. As long as we're talking about bullish and bearish reversal candles, let's go to the uh, chart where it's going to make the most the most uh, important uh, piece of information provided to us today. And that's this. As we take a look at these uh, four equity future contracts out here, and even though you can't, it's not that easy to define a bullish or bearish reversal candle using these uh, bar charts out here, what I can share with you is that the Dow equity future contract, in my opinion right now, is, is the most important chart for us to take a look at it. One, because price is back to its all-time highs. That was at 35,431. It closed above that yesterday. Two, let me just pull this chart up on the screen so I can find it, because we're in this consolidation pattern. That wasn't it, but this is it. Here's our four consolidation patterns. You've got the Dow up at the top. We're trying to understand, is the Dow generating a signal for you and I that is getting ready to bust through that consolidation? And the same thing for the ES Mini. So that's an important chart. But right now, I'm really focused on the Dow more than the ES Mini because the Dow is the weakest uh, indice today. And uh, you know what? It's probably easier for me to do this. Let's get back to these charts here. But let me just pull out. Well, I can't do that. I'll have it set up. When we come back from this breakout here, we'll look at my other four panel chart. But there's a possibility that the Dow equity future contract will generate a bearish engulfing candle today. It's got the potential, the potential. We need to wait till the end of the trading session. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we've got the uh, four equity future contracts, daily contracts, up on the uh, on our screen right now. And really, it's the lower left one that I'm paying attention to, uh, just simply because the Dow has been the weakest. It's got the potential to form that bearish engulfing candle. And if it does that, what it will do is it will generate a sell the D point right at the top of the consolidation. Now, here's the key. I'm not saying that if that occurs, that that means that price is going to move all the way back to the bottom of the consolidation. It could, but that's not what I'm saying. And the reason that Stevie's not saying that is because the actual first level that price will move to before it reveals any information to us will be that green oscillator and change line. That changed colors about three days ago. So what that tells us is that over the coming sessions, I don't know how many sessions, I wish I did, but I do know that over the coming sessions, we should see price and that line catch up to each other. Now, if we get the bearish reversal candle, then it's almost assumed that that is what's going to be the outcome. And if price just pulls back, tests and rejects, by rejection I mean tests it and moves higher, that would be a bullish outcome. And that would at least say price is going to go back and tackle the top of the consolidation. Now, at this stage here, we don't have a bearish reversal candle. So price could bust out of that consolidation. It's just that we're up near a resistance level, and this would be the ideal time to get that completion of that pattern. Now, we'd like to see the same thing inside the ES Mini as well. You'd like to see everything kind of top at the uh, same time. Doesn't often happen. It can. Uh, but based upon the way the markets are trading today, it doesn't look likely. But if we did get a bearish reversal candle inside the ES Mini, that would also, even though I don't have it drawn in here, that would confirm an A to B equals CD pattern. As we know, we took a look at we took a look at the ES Mini. It was also trading into the top of its consolidation. So both these, all these charts are really important to us. In the case of the NQ. If it uh, generated a bearish reversal candle, that's not going to happen today, maybe tomorrow. It's oscillator and change line, by the way, as is the ES. All three of them have changed colors. 
So that tells me that we are likely near a short term top. Now we're in bar number six on the ES, on the NQ, on the uh, Dow equity future contract. Maybe it's going to wait to form bar number nine. I don't know whether it will, but that won't be until next week. But what I do know is if we do get a bearish reversal candle today in any of these, then we have at least short term tops and price should then go target those oscillator and change line areas. Even though we're at 44, 44 on the ES, that's not going to be the price level where the ES mini and price test. I mean, it could be, but it's not likely, but it's going to be somewhere in that vicinity out there. So that's what I see that's going on inside the equity future contracts. If we change over and just take a quick peek at the short term, by short term, I'm just going to look at a 30 minute set of charts out here. This is for all four of them. They're not providing us with a ton of information either. Well, they are and they aren't. What I mean by they're not providing us with a ton, they're not providing us with information to let us know whether we're going to get a bearish reversal candle or price is going to break out. Why? If we take a look at the ES Mini, that formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. That was uh, yesterday. We've seen price just trading in a sideways consolidation. So the cool thing about the sideways consolidation, as you know, is that whichever side is broken, we have a measured move equal to or greater than the consolidation. The NQ, the same thing. Now, in the case of the NQ, uh, she just generated a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. Now, this candle does not close for nine more minutes, but right now it's a bearish sash candle. And if price can form a bearish reversal candle and close below the center of its bearish structured profile, the bearish structured profile is at 15,419. I don't even know how that got there, but 15,419. If price closes below that, take a look at its oscillator and change line. Just change colors. Where will price head to? It'll head to the 15,398 level. So just like we looked at on the daily time frame, we can go to a short term time frame and make those same types of calls out there. Here we've got the bearish structured profile. Um, out here inside the uh, natural gas contract, we saw a bullish structured profile. So if price were to close below the green line, this is the NQ, then we'd be looking at a move back to 1536 or the bottom of that consolidation. Of course, we know if the consolidation gets broken to either side, then we have that measured move. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow has actually completed an A to B equals CD pattern. It did it as we were coming on the air, or close to coming on the air. Was it about 1130? Yeah, 12 o'clock. So it, it formed at noon. It was a bullish piercing candle. In this case here, if price can close above its oscillator and change line, which is about where it's trading right now, price will make a move likely to the 35441 level. And if price can get above that, then it goes back to the highs uh, from earlier uh, yesterday, right? From uh, when was this? When did this form here? This was at uh, 1.30, 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And then if that's going to happen, we're not likely going to get that bearish reversal candle that we were taking a look at. And that says that, you know, price likely, likely continues to move higher, although price has got to clear yesterday's high, which is really at about the top of the uh, of the consolidation. So uh, that's what's going on as we take a look at the equity future contracts. So, oh, by the way, the Russell 2000, I had a nice rally this morning. What was it doing when it topped? It was forming. So first, this had bottomed yes, or early in the morning. This was the only one of the four equity future contracts that bottomed with a TD9 count. That was confirmed by 4 a.m. That ended up turning into an A to B equals CD to the upside, and then formed that evening star candle formation. And then price just simply pulled back to test support. So the Russell 2000, look, if we're just looking at things here, you've got support holding the Russell 2000, the Dow forming an A to B equals CD with a little bit of resistance work to do. So really kind of watch the uh, Dow equity future contract. I think that's probably, well, I'd be watching that and I'd be watching the NQ. Could we have opposing messages? Absolutely. We've got a uh, market where it's a mixed bag already. The Dow's up 118 and the uh, NASDAQ 100 is up about 48. Okay, let me take a quick peek. See if there is any questions that have come in. And we do have one. This one is from Hector and the fuel injectors, and it's with regard to NVIDIA. So let me do this here. I'm going to get to a different screen. I'm going to go ahead and change that screen. So let's do this so that Mr. Bill doesn't have to knock me upside the head with a 2 by 4 And let's get NVDA punched into the screen. And then let's go ahead and read the uh, question. Does today's price and volume candle nullify yesterday's bearish reversal candle? So let's let this, uh, yes, it does. So uh, just waiting for this to populate out here, this being NVIDIA that had the uh, Bitcoin charts up on the screen. I don't know why it's, I know why it's taking so long. I have too many things that are open at this moment. But nonetheless, here we're going to expand out the NVIDIA chart. So this is a great question. And Hector is talking about the sell the D point that formed inside of, NVIDIA. Here's the A to B point, 
and I think we took a look at this. We might have taken a look at this yesterday. Here's the C to D point. This was in a little bit of an expansion above the one to one. But yesterday you had that bearish engulfing candle. Now, this is really important, Hector, and everybody else that's listening. So we have the sell the D point. But that alone is not enough for us to just simply go ahead and fire away. I mean, you can if you want out there. But what else do we know about taking a look at this chart? So, for example, where is price trading in relationship to the oscillator and change line? That's the green line. It's above it. What does that mean? That means we have a rising price oscillator above zero, and that is a bullish condition. Even if price pulls back to test that green line, it is still a bullish condition. And remember, the test and rejection of that line, uh, which we already have had inside of NVIDIA, that was about four or five days ago, that's the bullish outcome. When you do get a sell of the D point, or any, and the other thing is, is price is trading above the top of its daily profile. So in this case here, Hector, shorting NVIDIA is not a great idea, even though you got the sell of the D point, because of where price is trading in relationship to the resistance levels. Now, of course, we would go take a look at the short term frame charts and see if there's some kind of levels of support that have been broken. But a close above yesterday's high, that is a bearish engulfing candle, suggests that this continues to move higher. So yes, Hector, that does negate yesterday's sell signal. Thanks so much for the question. See Roads with TFN. we get back, we're gonna go out and speak with Gary about new skin. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to Gary in Michigan. Uh, Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Oh uh, well, it's a little shaky on the heart side. But uh, how have you been? How's the, how's things going on your end? On all yeah, ends? Yeah, no no complaints. Uh, you know, enjoying life, getting out, uh, doing some fishing, playing some golf, uh, working out, and uh, yeah, and, and uh, we've got a nice change in the weather down here. So you know, October, November, it's just a beautiful time of the year to be down here. So uh, thanks for asking. And you are yeah. our new skin expert out there. I think one of the few products that my wife doesn't own just yet oh, when it comes to, got to, talk comes to, to her then. <laughs> <laughs> I just texted her. She's, she's in the other room. I said, is some of that stuff you use is it from New Skin? And she wrote back, no why. So I'm sure she's on the website now taking a look at it. All right. Great. <laughs> So tell we'll me talk. What you're <laughs> um, yeah, well, I, my question is: is I, you know, been waiting, <laughs> and um, they report earnings here in a few weeks. So it should be pretty dynamic again, but we'll see if that makes any difference. But it, my question is: did it bottom? And if it did, what's the numbers? Even if it didn't, what's the kind of the the, the range I'm looking for as far as next levels, in your opinion? Sure. Okay, so you're you're really a, a longer term, intermediate term trader of of New Skin, correct? Right. Yeah, I have options for um, December and March. Okay. So what we like about New Skin right now, first I want to point out, you were take a look at the profiles daily, weekly, and monthly. Now the, the, there's good news and bad news. The good news is price is above the top of the uh, the above the bottom of the daily profile. It's above the bottom of the weekly profile. So that's the good news. The bad news on a monthly basis below the bottom there. So we got a little bit of opposing messages. But you're in more of an intermediate term type trader. And then the answer to, whoops, sorry, that's the wrong chart. Let's pull over the correct one. Let's pull over new skin. And so I'm going to first just focus in on the weekly time frame. And the weekly time frame, Gary, last week was bar number nine of a TD9 count. Now, the nice thing about new skin is that it really uh, pays attention to those TD9 counts. So if we take a look at the bottom back in uh, March, it was uh, at bottom with a TD9 count. If I take a look at a high out here in September, it topped for a short period of time. Uh, again, we're looking at a weekly chart, four or five weeks, six weeks out here, seven weeks. Uh, so it did the uh, trick. We had another top that formed out here in February, and now we've got a TD9 count bottom from last week. In addition to that, as I had pointed out, is that there's a brand new bullish structured weekly profile that is formed. So what that tells us, so you've got good, so do you have a bottoming pattern? That was one of your questions. The answer is yes, and you have it on the weekly time frame, which fits more with your intermediate term time frame thinking. Whether that's going to fit into the uh, expiration of the options that you have, that much I, I, I don't know. But you do have a, a valid bottom out here, and this happens to be a chart that really does pay attention to those TD9 counts. Now what we can also see out here, Gary, is on the weekly time frame that Stevie's oscillator and change line changed from green to red uh, quite a while ago, a couple of months ago. So that tells us now we should expect price and that line to catch up to each other. The top of the profile is probably where price and that line will catch up to each other, and that's in the 44, 57-ish range out there. So the weekly chart is saying, okay, yeah, I've bought it. Now on a daily time frame, and I'll switch over to it, this has a road momentum indicator bottom and that occurred on the trading day of October 13th when price gap to the upside so you've got a bottom on the short term time frame you've got the intermediate term time frame a quick pick in a, a quick a quick quick a quick peek in on the monthly time frame I got zip you know so you're really pulling for the daily and weekly out here if those patterns fail because we've got valid bottoming signals, then the message would be that new skin is likely headed to 2644. But that's not the message that we have right now at 1.30 in the afternoon on October the 21st. So any questions about those charts and those signals? If it did bust out over the 44, um, what would be the next level then? Then I'd be looking at 5383. And that's where price had broken down uh, most recently on a weekly basis inside of New Skin. At least that's the price from a weekly standpoint. On a daily standpoint, it's 51.32. So you got 51.32, 53.83, and I'd, I'd pretty much just keep it at those two levels. Would is what I would that's be fine. looking for. And that number at 44, the big my my big target. What was that? 44 what? 
4457 is the top of the weekly profile. And right now, the asset earn change line is 4561. So it's going to be it's somewhere in that range in that area where price. Now, you the, you won't get the, con the confirmation of that. Yes, we've got the confirmation of the bottom, but it's a bullish structured profile. And the confirmation of that move to the 45 area, Gary, is a close above 4198. Doesn't have to do it this week, but that would be what you'd be looking for. Okay, cool. You're the man, so that's great. That's that's great stuff. Now i got some targets. Okay. The other one you wanted to look at is EMX. Is that correct? You got it. That's my baby. So, Other okay. baby. <laughs> so tell us what you're doing with EMX Royalty. It is traded above the top of its daily profile, inside a brand-new weekly profile, and very likely going to head to the 288 level. But tell the folks what you're doing and how I can best help you. Well, it's a long-term play. It's actually, I think, it's generational wealth, personally. I've been following it for three years. I've met management, um, and um, uh, they have just uh, put on – they're a royalty, but they're a prospect generator royalty company that's been around for 18 years, and they've got 300 different assets. But the point is they actually just got um, some things that have been in the works coming all coming online. There's like – Four major royalties going to be producing millions of dollars in royalties now annually, all within the next two months starting. So the point is, is I'm looking for a point where I maybe I should have bought some at the 250 when I went down there. But on the same token, does it have a chance to get down there again, or is it just kind of uh, pretty well solid and moving more towards the upside? <clears throat> So those are all great questions. Um, in order for this to signal that it's going to move lower, the first thing that you would need to see is a close below 274. And if you get a close below 274, then you should see price move down about another dime to 264. And if price can close below that, then you get to your $2.51 level. And that's the bottom of its uh, daily profile. If you're asking me, do we have any kind of signal that that's going to unfold right now? We do not. But that's what you would be looking for. Um, there's certainly A to B equals CD patterns. I've got wave number seven is another pattern that identified the bottom back on October 6th. So the daily does have a valid bottoming signal. And with price above the top of its profile, odds fade that price is going to go target the 317 area, and that's over time. When I look at the weekly time frame, it too has an A to B equals CD pattern that was completed last week. That was when it generated that Three River Morningstar pattern. Right now you have price above this red oscillator and change line, which is, which is priced at about 277. And so if tomorrow, Gary, price closes above 277, this will be a change in trend signal, the first one that you've had since May. Uh, so uh, now that doesn't mean that it's absolutely off to the races. What it means is that price should then go target on the top of its weekly profile, and that would be 288. It would be a close above 288, Gary, that would then give you the signal that this is absolutely a change in trend. And more likely than not, that answers your question that no, price won't get back to the $2.05 level. So it still has a possibility to do that. I just don't see any signal right now to say that that is a likely outcome. Okay, that's exactly what I was, um, you know, I suspected, but I wanted to your, your confirmation because that's, that's the ultimate. Okay, so here's <laughs> one thing I'd look for uh, tomorrow and Monday, and that is if price can spike above 282, doesn't have to close above it, just spike above it tomorrow or on Monday, then you'll have a TD9 count top, and then that could take price back to about the 260 level. All righty? Okay, gotcha. Hey, be you well, bet. my friend. You bet. You too. That Take was care. Gary in Michigan. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in about three minutes, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow down 111, S&P's up 2, NASDAQ 100 up 62. Let's go to our next question. This one coming in from uh, the golf guy. And that is, uh, can we see where HIMX may be going? Seems to have hit the mid-June lows of 10-ish on lighter volume in the last few days turned up. So let's go take a look at this instrument. HIMX is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's get that up on our screen out here, not HIMZ. And uh, at least we know there's no HIMZ as a ticker symbol. That's the that's the beautiful thing about Stevie's typing skills. But what the golf guy wants to know is, hey, where's this headed to? Well, three days ago, close above the top of its slightly bare structured profile. Did that yesterday. Trade above it today. So you'd like to see this stay above the level of uh, 1061. You're trading at 1066 right now. Do those five pennies mean anything? They mean something to Stevie. And they should mean something to you, too. So that looks pretty good. The problem is that Timex technology is below the bottom of its weekly and below the uh, center of its uh, monthly profile. So let's pull over the other charts and try to understand if there's any kind of bottom signals coming from any of these time frames. Let's begin by taking a look at the daily. So as we populate the daily, you can clearly see the A to B equals CD down pattern. The A to B point looks like this. It starts from the high of that Rhodes indicator top, gets down to a TD9 count bottom that turned into a nice little rally and here's your a your c to d level and so it hits it you know pretty close and then it generates that bullish reversal candle in essence the question that uh, mr bill was asking about in the beginning so that's your confirmed bottom uh golf guy and now with price above the uh, top of its daily profile that's the next bullish outcome and that suggests a continued move higher i mentioned that the weekly and the uh, monthly are a little bit troublesome but let's go see if we've got any kind of a bottoming signal out here so on the weekly time frame what do we see what we see is a uh, by the D point. So really the same kind of thing, although different time frame. So I'm just going to use this as my A to B point. Just take this to the C level. There you go. And uh, voila, there's your bullish reversal candle. Now, that is this week, golf guy. What I don't know, what you don't know, is where is price going to close tomorrow. But if price closes above, I'll give you the number. If price closes above 1036, 
You're trading at 1066 right now. You'll have a bullish engulfing candle, and that'll confirm a buy the D point. What that should then do is take price up towards that oscillator and change line. It's currently printed at 1213. Just use that as a guideline. The bottom of the weekly profile is 1251. So if your question was, and your question was, can I see where this is going? Well, you've got a bottom on the daily and a bottom on the weekly, and that's what you like to see. On the monthly chart, you don't have a whole lot of help here, so you're going to need that daily and the weekly to truly take over. But there's no reason why they shouldn't, at least at this stage of the game. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you again. David in Tomball, Texas, he wants to take a look at something. That something is AEP. Can you do your chart analysis on AEP? It's American Electric Power, so we absolutely can. AEP. Let's get that fired up here. Within the last week, I believe I recall seeing the symbol on your newsletter list of TD9 count bottoms. Can you give me an update on how the stock is performing now? So uh, let's go pull over AEP here. Let's go take a look at uh, what David is uh, asking about. And uh, I don't have a TD9 count pattern on the daily time frame. Um, in fact, I have got on the daily chart here, this, this was just a, uh, I don't have any kind of a bottom pattern, but that doesn't mean that it didn't bottom. And so what, what, I re what I'm referring to there is there's really an A to B equals CD to the upside that is underway right now. That'll be confirmed with a close above 85.25. Uh, that would then, and price is traded above the top of its slightly bearish structured profile. So even though I didn't get the bottoming signal, at least on the daily chart, maybe I got one on the weekly chart out here, um, and we'll go take a look at that, uh, price should continue to move higher. Now, it may just be setting up a currently sell pattern. So the A to B point right here, Actually, we'll do it on the other charts because on the other black background charts, I can give you the exact levels uh, and the expansion area. So on the weekly time frame chart, what does uh, AEP signal to you and I? Not much. It's trading right now into resistance, which is the top of its uh, weekly profile. The top of its weekly profile is at 8507. We're trading at 8503 right now. What price really needs to do is close above that oscillator and change line. That is at 85.68. If price can do that, that would then suggest a run back to its recent highs. It may just be a large consolidation that this is trading within. So that is a, a very poss a very likely possibility. In a short-term time frame, I don't have anything really to share with you on the 30-minute chart. So with regard to your question, you're just looking for what the chart analysis is. I, it looks to me like it wants to head higher. Again, it just needs to close above. Well, we're going to go take a look at those A to B equals CD patterns. So let's. Uh, I'll give you that exact uh, number in a moment here. So the A to B equals CD, this again is for the daily time frame for American Electric Power. The A point is going to be the low on October 1st. The B point is going to be the high on October 7th. And the C point is going to be the low on October 13th. So 86.22 is your price target level. That would be the one-to-one. -one. As price gets to that area, what you're going to be on watch for, David, is some type of bearish reversal candle. If you get that, you then have a Gartley sell pattern. If you don't, then price should continue rising. And the next target, above 86.22, would be 87.41. That's using our A to B equals CDs. But what we do know is that price is right up at resistance. So if you're wondering why did price stop here, it, it's simply because that is where the sellers reside on the weekly time frame, and they're sitting there at 85.07. So that's where the battle is taking place. And the question is, who's going to win, the bulls or the bears? Uh, looks like that is all that we have for questions, at least uh, coming by email. I don't believe there's anything in the Tiger's Den, but if you would like me to take a look at something, uh, please uh, let's let's do so. In the meantime... Probably a few folks interested. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> my throat has gone really dry. Sorry about that, folks. I needed the uh, old swig of water uh, to try to wet that whistle. <clears throat> FUTU. Absolutely, George. Let's go take a look at FUTU. This is not, that's not FUTU. Let's get to our three time frame charts. Here we go. FUTU. FUTU holdings, right? <clears throat> Two holdings. Now, George, what is it that you're looking for inside of this? What I will share with you is you can see that new bullish structured daily profile formed two days ago. Yesterday was a close above the center. When you close above the center of a bullish structured profile, where does price usually go to? See, George, you can answer this question yourself. Tell me, where is Futu very likely headed to? And you see it. 
And I know you're getting ready to type it in, and you're exactly right. $78.24. <clears throat> that is the top of its bullish structured profile. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is price right now is trading below the bottom of its monthly profile and trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. So what you and I really need to do, and I didn't get this going when you first uh, typed that in, is on my white background charts. So let's go take a look at its daily and weekly time frame, just waiting for this to populate. And see if there was some kind of bottom associated on the daily time frame with that move lower. Same thing on the weekly chart. And the answer to our question is no. Not a darn thing there that I see that would have identified a bottom on the uh, daily time frame. But nonetheless, price is inside that bullish structure profile, and that says that price should at least go tag that 7824. That may be all she's got, and that may be just a counter trend move. On a weekly time frame, do we have any kind of a bottoming signal? We do not. So at this stage here, the best information that we have, George, is this is just a counter trend rally that should take it up to the top of its profile, and that's at 78.24. If it does more than that, then we can come back and take a look at it. We can always take a look at it, but that might be then generating a different message for us. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's take a look at the overall market share as we go into the close. you got the Dow off 130. The S&P is down two. The NASDAQ 100 is up 46. Russell is off a couple of points right now. And so really it's going to be we're going to just let me get my charts back up on the screen here. And we're going to go back and take a look at the uh, daily time frame. 
for those equity future contracts and just simply review those. So give me a moment here just to change screens. We we'll Go back to our white paneled screen out here. And again, we can see that there's even though they're not drawn in here, you can visually see well, they're drawn in. It's drawn in on the Dow bottom left corner, the A to B equals CD pattern. So the ES, the NQ, YM each have A to B equals CD patterns that are underway. We know that the ES and the Dow are both up at the top of their consolidations. We can see right now, as we speak, that the Dow has a chance to generate that bearish engulfing candle, it has to close below yesterday's open. And if it does that, you'll get that bearish reversal signal. Does that mean that the move is over and we're going down to the bottom? It could mean that. But the first meaning would be that price will go target that oscillator and change line. And that's where we'll really get that first message as to whether or not it's a top of any significance, meaning going all the way back down to the bottom of that consolidation. But right now, from a target standpoint, 34,872 would be the target if and only if we get that bearish reversal candle. The other instruments, as we speak at 155 in the afternoon, they're not participating in that message. You've got a doji candle right now inside the ES. That, that, you know, that's not a bearish reversal candle. Um, you don't have any kind of bearish reversal candle inside the NQ. Uh, but we still want to watch one at a time for these uh, signals to unfold out here. And again, the first levels of a retracement for each of these will be back to the daily oscillator unchanged line levels, folks. So thanks so much for being here. I want you to stay tuned. We've got two more excellent hours up. Your favorite polar bear, David White. He's up with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow. Another treat, a San Francisco treat, 8 a.m. sharp. So be here, 8 a.m. sharp. We'll do the show live. We'll replay it from 1 to 2. I'll do everything I can to make it as pertinent during this hour as I humanly possibly can. So we'll see you in the morning, bright and early. Take care, folks.